everybody, my name is Audrey and welcome back. Today I am going to be talking to you about something I love that's not books. Television shows. I watch a lot of TV and it's time to rank my top 10 favorite TV shows. I'll give a disclaimer before this video starts that um, this is just my top 10 TV shows right now in this specific moment of my life. Like six months ago it would have been ranked differently and like six months in the future it'll probably be ranked differently again. But right now, today, these are my top 10 favorite TV shows. Let's get started. Number 10 is Doctor Who. I actually think this is kind of a funny one because my brother loves Doctor Who like even more than I do, but I started watching it first and my brother made fun of me relentlessly. He was like, oh, your stupid space show, aliens, British people, this is stupid. And I was like, no, it's so good. You have to watch it, you have to watch it. And I got him to watch the Weeping Angels episode. And then like two days later, he was watching season two, which was like three seasons before that. And I was like, I told you it was a good show. You didn't believe me. Number nine is MasterChef Junior. I'm a cooking show addict, like absolutely obsessed. And MasterChef Junior is by far the best one. All these tiny little people, tiny little nine-year-olds all cooking like filet mignon I'm like on a regular basis I'm like you're amazing I burnt my toast this morning and it made my sister want to be a chef so it's inspiring and adorable and it has Gordon Ramsay and it's so Show number eight is Criminal Minds, and this usually surprises most people because I don't look like a kind of person who would watch Criminal Minds on a regular basis. But I actually took an entire semester of forensic science just because I really love Criminal Minds. I think it's super intense, it's super interesting, I feel like I learn a lot from it, like nothing that I'll use in my everyday life. But a lot. A lot of weird science facts. And it's really fun to watch, and also Spencer Reed. So... you know. Show number seven is Sherlock, which probably doesn't surprise anyone who knows me because I love Benedict Cumberbatch and I really love Martin Freeman. Sherlock is amazing. Um, it actually motivated me to start reading actual Sherlock Holmes books. Um, I have to still finish... which one am I reading right now? The first one. What is it called? I can't remember. A Study in Scarlet. Right. I'm reading that one right now and it's been so good. I love Sherlock Holmes. I think his mind is incredible. And the stylization of that show is really good. Like when he when he notices something, part of the case or whatever, it like words like pop up around his head that he associates with what he's looking at. And so it makes it easier for the viewer to follow along the case and kind of get into his brain a little bit more. So it's really fun to watch. And it, it takes a lot of attention because all the episodes are like an hour and a half long but they're so good. Show number six is Avatar The Last Airbender because apparently I'm seven years old in my heart. Um, it's such a brilliant show though, honestly. Like, the animation style is not my personal favorite, but that's okay, I can totally get over it because the plot is stunning, the character development is incredible. Like, literally, your, your favorite character might be great, but they'll never have a character development as well written as Prince Zuko's. Let's accept it, move on, and also, ship Zutara. Katara is me in a lot of ways and I love her. So there you go. Avatar. Watch it if you have that. I'm sure you have because it's like a really popular show from like the mid 2000s so you've probably watched it but it's amazing and I love it and it's great. Legend of Korra is not included in this ranking. Number five is Bob's Burgers and my cousin Nat is really mad about me on the, <laughs> for that one because she likes Avatar more because she's like the story and I'm like yes but Bob's Burgers is so much fun to watch like I always laugh when I watch Bob's Burgers. My favorite episode mm, I love the one where Linda turns the diner into a dinner party uh, like a dinner theater and um, she writes a whole play about how a tree like killed a flower delivery man <laughs> and it's really weird but in the long she's like at the very beginning she goes this is my favorite Linda quote not my favorite one but this is a really good one she goes this is a story of love but there will also be a murder and it's your job to figure out who that murderer is Hint, it's not me. But it turns out to be her, so everyone's like really mad and it's hilarious. But by far the best Bob's Burgers quote is this, this has nothing to do with my ranking, but this is just great quotes from this amazing show. It's so quotable. Um, is this episode where she's having a flashback, Lin this is Linda again, cause she's hilarious. She's having a flashback to when she went through this phase where she like was obsessed with tiny porcelain babies. <laughs> and they're like all crowded on her nightstand. <laughs> and she starts singing them. <laughs> This is my 
my cousin Ella's eighth grade quote in her yearbook. This is not even a joke. She literally put this in her yearbook. The quote is, it's a song, I'm gonna sing it for you. She goes, if you're not real, then how come I feel this way, little baby? <laughs> and my family sings it all the time because it's so funny. Oh, that show is, it's literally just hilarious. Um, I watched it as a coping for Gravity Falls ending because Kristen Shaw voices Louise and I was really emotional that Gravity Falls was over so I was like, I need to hear Kristen Shaw speak again. So I started watching Bob's Burgers and then I got my whole family addicted to it and now it's like our family show. We love it so much. It's just, it's hilarious. It's so, so funny. Number four is Stranger Things. I love Stranger Things. I thought it was so brilliant and it was very original. I think, uh, a lot of the things that shows struggle with are coming up with original ideas that are actually good. But Stranger Things is original and it's brilliant and it's so immersive, I think is the word I want to use. Like, you feel like you're watching a John Hughes movie from the 80s when you watch Stranger Things. It feels so 80s, like in every aspect. From what I know of the 80s. I was not alive in the 80s, but from what my father has told me and my mom, like, it's so 80s and it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know why everyone's so obsessed with Barb. She was in like two episodes. I don't get it. But Nancy's awesome and Eleven is perfect and I love Sheriff Hopper and I love, um, oh, what's Will's mom's name? I can't remember. Winona Ryder. She's so good in that show. And it's kind of creepy. It's kind of spooky. But it's really fun and season two comes out on October 27th and I am so excited. Sitcom time, friends. I'm a sitcom addict. Um, the rest of my list doesn't really reflect that, but I love a good sitcom. So my number three show is Parks and Recreation, which, oh my goodness, I love that show. I actually just finished re-watching it for like the fourth time. Um, I skipped season seven like I always do because season seven was not very good. Um, but everything else about it is just so funny. Um, Chris Pratt got his whole start on Parks and Rec and I mean he's just literally who doesn't love Chris Pratt? No one. Everyone loves him because he's amazing and he's hilarious and such a nice person. I mean I think he's a nice. He seems like a nice person. I'm pretty sure I am Ann Perkins in many ways and in other ways I'm Leslie Nope. and April Leggett is kind of my hero. Like I'm not her in any way but I adore her. Just she's so awesome. Chris and Ben, oh my goodness. Ben Wyatt is the kind of person I want to get married to. Like, that show is just so brilliant and it's hilarious and it's so quotable. I love a good quotable show. Number two is another cartoon because uh, I have a lot of cartoons on this list. I didn't actually realize how many cartoons I watched. Three out of ten. That, that's a pretty decent amount of cartoons, 30%. Anyways, number two is Gravity Falls, which is just this genius show about these twins that live in Oregon and they live in this mysterious town called Gravity Falls where all these weird things are happening and it's up to them to save the town from this evil like demon triangle who's trying to take it over and it's so quirky and fun and hilarious and it's good for all ages and it's incredibly self-aware. There's this one incredible episode where they're watching the show called uh, Duck Detective, I think is what it's called. Where Uncle Stan's brother makes fun of him. He's like, oh, you're watching a kid's show. And Uncle Stan goes, listen, that show has a lot of humor that goes over kids' heads. And I'm like, it's Gravity Falls. Like, it's being self-aware and it's hilarious and it's amazing. It's such a funny show. My brother and I are like real life Dipper and Mabel Pines. The last episode, uh, Weird Mageddon Part 3, was an hour long episode and I've only watched it once the day it aired because in the whole second half I was sitting on my living room floor and holding a pillow and sobbing just like loud sobs I went to the bathroom during the commercial and I cried in the bathroom I did not stop a half an hour of endless crying over a television show it's emotional and it's fantastic and everything about it is perfect and I wish I had never ended and I want it to go on forever but it's fine it's fine my number one all-time favorite show should come as no surprise to those of you who know me in real life. It is The Office. Oh my lord, I am so obsessed with The Office. There is literally nothing I love more in this world. Well, there are a lot of things I love more in this world, but television-wise, like, The Office is my very favorite thing. I've seen it ten times all the way through since my sophomore year of high school, which was only two years ago. So I watch it a lot. I, a lot. It's so funny. There are so many good one-liners from it, but it's also like super deep and emotional and you really care about the characters. Uh, Jim and Pam, need I say more, honestly. Like also John Krasinski, need I say more part two. 
because he's amazing. It's quirky and it's awkward and you kind of feel uncomfortable for the characters a lot of the time because Michael's kind of an idiot, but he's a lovable idiot. Like, you love to hate him. You kind of hate him because he's kind of rude and kind of stupid, but he's lovable. You just love That's such a good show. Most people have seen it, but if you haven't, it's, it's all on Netflix and you should definitely watch it. I always cry. I haven't watched the last episode more than twice because I always cry. Um, Jim and Pam's wedding always makes me cry. Just crying. All, all, so many times. So many times. The funniest episode is the dinner party. You will feel uncomfortable while you watch it, but it's also hilarious. Anyways, The Office. It's amazing. You should watch it. Seriously, if you haven't, why? It's so funny and lovable and everyone loves it and you will be in love with John Krasinski by the time you finish the first season. Alright everybody, those are my top 10 favorite TV shows. I hope this was an interesting video. It was literally just me ranting about things that I like, which is something I do on a regular basis, but this time I did it in front of a camera. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. I love to know you liked it. it. Makes me feel super happy and it, it makes me put out more content like this. You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more of my face and hang out with some more general geek things because it happens a lot on this channel. Uh, there will be a subscribe button either on this side of my face or on this side. Find it, click on it, subscribe. It's a party. It'll be fun. Let's do it. Um, I think that's all I have for you today. So until next time, my name is Audrey and I will see you in the next chapter.